you see guys? This is a rainy day. Do you know what rainy days mean? Cold, dank, rainy days? They mean soup. At least to me. I have leftover rotisserie chicken that I made yesterday. I wish I'd thought to video it for you guys, but I didn't. I have a lot going on today, but I am going to debone that chicken. And I am going to put make some Mediterranean chicken soup. Do you know why it's Mediterranean? Because I'm going to put olives and capers in it. <gasps> oh, you guys stick around because we're going to make Mediterranean chicken soup and it's going to be oh so good. You won't want to miss it. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome into our kitchen here at the Tiny Retirement, my Tiny Retirement. I'm Christine, and it is a cold, dank, rainy day. And I looked around and thought, oh, I have enough leftovers to do soup, because today is a good soup day. I have chicken and rice with, and this is the... Uh, it's not actually dirty rice. This is the uh, the juice from the uh, chicken. I rotisseried this yesterday. It was really good. I didn't film it. Sorry, guys. I'll do another one sometime. Anyway, so I'm doing a... I looked around, saw what I had, and I have ingredients to do a Mediterranean type of soup. So, that's what we're making today. And I'm doing it in the crock pot because what's better on a rainy day in a crock pot soup. And don't look at my hair. Don't look at my hair. Today is shower day and I haven't done it yet. I've got a lot going on. So I'm throwing something in the crock pot. While this is going to cook, I'll go do my stuff and well, we'll see. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> All right. So here's what I'm doing. And in my crock pot, this is just a debone chicken. And because I have the rice, I'm not going to waste the rice. I'm throwing it in. So in it goes. In it all goes. Ooh, yum, yum. I'm really glad you got all of the, uh, the, 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 the love, yeah. Okay, ooh, this is going to be really full. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Ooh. Ooh. Chicken grease. Okay, the other thing I have is this is, you know how when you cook chicken, we had chicken the other day too, we had chicken legs. This is the, uh, you know, the uh, the juice that turns gelatinous when you're done. Well, I'm, I'm not going to waste this either. This is going in. So, in, let's see. So, that's going to go in. Oh, you know what I need? Would you hand me my phone so that I can give the folks... Actually, you know what you could do? What? Is it possible for you to be my videographer assistant? Okay. And hold the camera over here? This camera? That oh, camera. Yeah. As I dump things in. Oh. I've been doing that lately, and I think it's working out really well that the folks at home can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. You got it? Yeah. That's so awesome. All right. I have white beans because I have them. These are cannellini beans. You can use any, you know, any white bean. I would suggest white because it's chicken. It makes sense up here. So we have that. I have. And this is what's going to make it Mediterranean. I just chopped up some plain old olives that we had in the um, in the pantry. And we'll just sit and snack on the rest of the olives. <laughs> in they go. We'll make martinis. We'll make martinis. 
Woo! I like your thinking. All right, and then I have some capers. Yeah, I know olives and capers don't, you know, they have sort of a different flavor. But you know what? Everybody needs a little contrast in their lives. I chopped these up um, just to help them break down a little better. So in they go. In they go. I have... All right, I'm going to do this. All right. I have red pepper flakes, fresh brown black pepper, celery seed, onion powder, garlic powder, kosher salt. And my guess is that is about a teaspoon of each. And it is in. I have, because it's in the refrigerator, this is leftover tomato sauce because we had spaghetti. I thought I had crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce or something like that in the pantry. Shockingly, I have run out of tomato. And like a gift from God, I found this in the refrigerator. I'm using it. So, in it goes. So there. Like that. And. Oh, yes. Okay. I have better than bullion chicken. This is the bullion flavoring of my choice. You use whatever you like. I like this. Uh, it just gives it a nice roasted chicken flavor. So, this is what I'm using. And I would put in, for me, I would do a good teaspoon. And I'm not going to lick it. Remember when I did that in another video? Do you remember when I did yep. that? I was like, are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay. You're talking to me? This is my, my assistant right here. You can't see. You probably can see yeah. his arm. But yeah, you're talking to me. I am talking to you, baby. All right. All right. Yes, yes, you guys. You guys. I just found this. I got. All right. We got to take a minute here. All right. Can you put it in and then talk a minute? So I can oh, you want to put it in so you can... <laughs> All right, I'm going to put it in. Teaspoon. This. Then cut. Cut. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to need some aspirin. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, I'm going to take a second here. This is my very new favorite, favorite new thing. Better Than Bullion is coming out with all these really cool flavors now. And I, I like really different <clears throat> things. And I just about flipped when I saw roasted garlic base. O-M-G. I just got this. Look, I'm almost, I mean, I'm, I'm running out. I only got this, what, a week or two ago? Yeah. And usually they'll last for a couple of months. I don't know if they're supposed to, but they do in my kitchen. So I'm putting that in. And then one more thing that I'm going to do. <coughs> That's from my girly childhood days. All right. These are... You know when you get down to the rind of your Parmesan cheese, there's, there's still enough in there to impart some flavor and add something, but there's not really enough to grate. I'm not going to waste this either. Right in. And I happen to have two. I happen to have two. Um, these, these won't melt. These won't melt. These will get chewy and kind of a weird texture, but there's still a lot of flavor to impart. And when the uh, when the chicken soup is done, I will just go in and fish them out, just like you would a bay leaf. You know, you don't want to crunch into that. Well, this is kind of gross if it's left <laughs> in there. But there's still a lot of flavor, so I'm going to do that. All right. Okay. And because it's Mediterranean. I'm going to do a little, whoop, I'm going to throw everything, I'm going to do a little olive oil. 
talking about a quarter cup. I think that was a quarter cup. Okay. I forgot why I had this out on the counter. And I put it in the refrigerator because I was like, what am I using that for? Okay, well, I was using it for this. And then you do this. Just for me. I do enough to cover. Oh, I need my phone. <laughs> I do just enough to cover all of my uh, ingredients in here. So we're going to try to get you a shot of just the, uh, you know, of how much water I put in. And I'll keep checking this. Oh, give it a stir. Okay, here we go. Mm. Hey, Julia Child's got nothing on this kitchen. All right. Now, it, it, I'll keep checking my water level. And I'll probably, you know, grate some Parmesan cheese in here toward the end. Um, I'll give it a taste and adjust for seasoning. I may even, off the cuff, you guys know that I do this. <coughs> I am very much an off the cuff kitchen cook. I taste it. If it's missing something, I add it. So that's probably what I'll do. I'm thinking that I may end, end up putting in a little cream. But we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to turn this on. on I'm going to put it on high. And I am going to... What? Five hours? Yeah. Six hours? I'm going to do it six hours. But I'll be checking it periodically. So when this is done, hopefully I will be showered and will be glamorous and elegant again and we'll take a look at it. Okay, you guys. As you can see, I've showered. I look a little better. I gave myself a little trim. Mr. Tiny Retirement cannot wait any longer. He is like a little child with cookies in the oven. He can't wait. He has bugged me. We are at, there's probably, we're under two hours left. He can't wait. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Look what that has turned into. It looks more stewy than soup. Stoop. Stoop. Well, it would be stoop if it were a little thicker, but look how hearty that looks. <gasps> okay. I'm going to scoop some out for Mr. Mitchell. Oh, that was a good call, putting rice in there. All right, honey. Here's your silly little spoon. I think I've yeah. taken all the shots that I need to take. That was a good call, putting rice in there, wasn't it? Ooh, that's hot. Is that hot? <laughs> Sorry. Almost. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. The olives are probably pretty strong. No, nope. they're just a hint of them. I can see them. But Capers? Not bad. Are they all melted in? Yeah, they're all melted in. Right. The olives give it a little... It's not like, oh, hey, there's olive, but it's like, what's that? Oh, it's an olive. Yummy. See can, you ta can you taste the cheese? You know, the cheese rind that I put in? It, did, did that give it yeah. anything or no? Eh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like the cheesy, but... All right. Well, let's go binge watch some TV and have our soup. Okay.